Hello, this is Maria from MathMammoth.com and in this lesson we're going to look at translations and reflections and combining them. That means that we're going to look at sequences of transformations. In my first example we have a shape and our task is to find the sequence of transformations that maps figure 1 to figure 2. And once we find that sequence we are in essence proving that those two figures are congruent. So, if you think about it, this figure 1, what kind of transformations could we use to map it precisely onto figure 2? Here you need to kind of think visually, maybe experiment a little. But we can see that just translation doesn't work. There has to be something else, maybe a rotation or a reflection. And perhaps you can see that a reflection will work. I could do it in several ways, but first let's say that I reflect this shape in this red line, like that. Now it is reflected in this red horizontal line, which is the line y equals negative 2. That's its equation. And now we can see that all we need is a translation. Okay, so first of all a reflection in the line y equals negative 2, and then a translation. How much? How much does it move? 8 units to the right, and then 3 units up. And here it is now perfectly on top of the figure 2. So we have proven that they are congruent. Okay, in this question we have a triangle that has been transformed in two different ways. There's been a sequence of transformations take place. And we see it there in its final location. And our task is to find the original coordinates of the vertices of the triangle before those two transformations. So, a triangle is first reflected in the vertical line x equals negative 2. That line is already drawn there. And then translated 2 units up and 3 units to the right. The vertices of the final figure are negative 4, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, and 1, negative 4. Give the coordinates of the vertices of the original triangle. Here it is after those two transformations. Essentially, we will work backwards now. Since there was first a reflection, then a translation, we're going to now do the translation backwards. This one said two units up, three units to the right, so we will go two units down, and then three units to the left, to do it in backwards order. And then there was a reflection in the vertical line, so that goes like this. Okay, that is the original triangle. And now we can look at the coordinates. We have one point here, negative two, negative six. Here's 3, negative 3, and then 0, negative 3. Here's our answer triangle in purple, and these are the coordinates of the original triangle. I hope this was helpful.